Oliver Anthony Music has listeners divided. Drake gets some help from his son on his new album. A baby at a Flo Rida concert is the talk of the internet. We learn five things about Erica Jane and play Never Have I Ever with Echo Smith. Hey y'all, I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News. It's Wednesday, August 23rd. And let's talk about our current leader on the Hot 100. Oliver Anthony seemingly came out of nowhere to the top of the Billboard Hot 100, but is he already becoming the rich man he sings about? And did he lose support from his right-wing fans already? We have his new music and everything that's been going on with the soulful singer. Rich men, north the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. As Rich Men North of Richmond had its historic ride to the top of our charts, a lot of conversation happened online questioning if the song has a divisive meaning and is it just an anthem for the right? Well, Oliver has spoken on the topic. I mean, we are the melting pot of the world and that, that's what makes us strong is our diversity and we need to learn to harness that and appreciate it and not use it as a political tool. To Some conservatives have already turned on him, calling him a scam and accusing him of faking his accent while others pointed out he never said he was conservative. I'm just confused at what's even controversial about diversity. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. And is he becoming a rich man? In his Hot 100 topping week, Billboard estimates he earned over $350,000 in royalties. On the heels of his history-making number one viral hit, Oliver has dropped a video for his new single, I Want to Go Home. I wanna go home. Someone else who's used to being on top of the charts, Drake is giving new info on his upcoming album. Looks like Drake knows how to spot talent. The rapper commissioned an up-and-coming artist to create the artwork for his latest album, his son, Adonis. King of the hill, you know it's a steep one. If we together, you know it's a brief one. Drake revealed this week that the cover art for his upcoming album, For All the Dogs, was drawn by his five-year-old son, Adonis. The young artist sketched a red-eyed pooch with tall ears and a white body and had the internet in their feelings with one commenter saying, Adonis coming through with the Picasso. Adonis, I think it's a little dark. Somebody give this kid some more color. At press time, there is no official release date for his follow-up to last year's surprise solo release, Honestly Never Mind, which featured the single Sticky and Billboard Hot 100 number one single, Jimmy Cooks with 21 Savages. Let's keep the music and the baby news going. We've got to talk about Flo Rida. A recent video from a Flo Rida show is going viral, and we have so many questions. <laughs> While performing at Celebrate Erie Festival in Pennsylvania, Flo Rida was handed a baby, to which Flo hailed him and continued his performance of Low. The viral video had many fans commenting how cute and irresponsible it was, and some even asked how did they know the baby was a Flo Rida fan. But that's just the beginning of our questions. Like whose baby is that? Did Flo Rida know this baby or their parents? And the video continues. Now how'd the baby get onto the stage? Who's this man holding him? Why is he holding him like Simba in The Lion King? Is Going Down For Real the baby's favorite Flo Rida song? <laughs> okay, internet, do your thing. We need some questions answered. Now let's have a little fun with the family band. We play Never Have I Ever with Echo Smith. Hey, we're Echo Smith, and we are gonna play Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever made a fake social media account. Definitely have. Oh. I have. You have too? Yeah. What do they call it? Like a Finsta? Where you make oh, like yeah, a yeah. private Instagram for your friends and stuff? I don't know yeah. if you're invited to it though. Never have I ever lied to get out of a speeding ticket. Well, I have sort of a funny joke. Or story. It's not a joke. I just got my license mm -hmm. and I, I just wasn't the best driver. Um, so I think the officer thought that I was like, drinking and driving because I was just swerving because I just wasn't a great driver. I legit, I had never even tried alcohol at this point for real. Anyways, and he was like, ma'am, have you been drinking? And I was like, no, I'm only 17. He's like, that's not what I asked you. <laughs> I did get a ticket and I thought that's, I thought they would send it to you in the mail. Apparently you needed to like, you know, initiate to pay it yourself. And it became a very expensive ticket because oh. I didn't pay it for too long. Never have I ever fallen on stage. Twice. Oh, I have. Oh yeah. 
I fall on warp tour. Never I have. I've rolled on the stage. <laughs> I never have. <laughs> never I have. <laughs> never have I ever overdrafted a bank account. Oh, I did do that once. Yeah. I accidentally transferred all of my money into a wrong bank account. And I wrote a check for someone, and they were like, "You, don't, this doesn't have any money." And I'm like, "I think I have like 50 bucks. I don't know." Thank you guys for watching. That was never have I ever. It's not on the signs. Never mind. <laughs> never. <laughs> okay. That was never have I ever <laughs> with billboard. <laughs> ever. Before we go, we gotta learn five things about Erica Jane. I'm Erica Jane, and these are five things that you probably don't know about me. I am afraid of the dark, and I always have been since I was a child, so I sleep with a nightlight, unless I'm sleeping with a man. If you open a bottle of water, you have to complete it. And in my house, I give everybody bottled water, but I take note as to who doesn't finish them and leaves them behind. I keep score like that, I'm just saying. I'm addicted to Target. I have to go there either first thing in the morning when it opens up or at the very end of the night when it's closing. I like to buy cleaning products, and I'm talking bleach, um, downy, Tide. I like to wash clothes, specifically whites, towels, and I can get anything just like sparkling white. I cannot wash with anything other than a white colored loofah. I can't have any color. I got one that was white and purple. The peach ones, the green ones, wasn't working. I can't do it. I don't know what it is. I got something going on with the, with the cleaning thing. My friends have pointed out that it's very strange that I sleep with socks on. I don't think it's strange at all. And I sleep with socks uh, year round. And I don't care what anybody says. That's today's show. Come back tomorrow for my interview with Tim McGraw, and we look back at 2021 Songs of the Summer. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.